I am gonna guarantee your glow up. Give me six months. Six months. Just watch the entire video and change your life. Transform your life. All you need is three to six months. Do all of the things I'm saying in this video for six months. You will be unrecognizable. You will be a whole different person. So if you want to change your life, if you want to transform your life, watch this video till the end and thank me later in six months, okay? Okay, without further ado, let's get right into the video on how you can transform and change your life in six months. I'm going to categorize this video into different parts. Body, mindset, mind, soul, and education. Five different parts of your life that literally makes you. So I'm gonna tell you every single thing that you need to start doing or change or stop doing in order to transform your life, in order to be the person that you wanna be. I'm pretty sure in your mind, there's this ideal person that you wanna be, but you just can't do it. You don't know where to start. So I'm gonna give you tips and tricks and basically things that you probably never heard of so that you can change your life. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so number one is body. So when it comes to your body, eat healthier don't go on a diet make lifestyle changes eat healthier and stop binge eating stop binge eating food that is such a bad habit and that is one of the main reasons people get overweight okay so eat healthier make lifestyle changes try to eat a green salad every once in a while if it's really difficult for you and after the first two months try to incorporate salads greens once or twice a day do not forget to drink water I can't stress this enough. Drink water. You need to be hydrated. Drinking water is so important. It helps you with your period, helps you with your skin, helps with your organs, helps with getting your dream body, helps with your brain. Water is so important. Another thing, exercise. It doesn't matter if you want to be skinny or whatever your dream body is. Exercise. Even if you're not aiming for an hourglass figure or an athlete body, just exercise okay now if you have a particular dream body in your mind then work towards it but if you don't just exercise even if you don't have a specific fitness goal walk around dance make sure that you're moving your body because that is so important for the long run so do not be a couch potato exercise three to four times a week and do it in a way that you will start loving exercising get your sleep sleep properly now i'm pretty sure most of you guys love staying up late i love staying up late i love when the environment and everyone is just sleeping and i'm awake at 3 a.m but you know what it's bad for us sleeping late is bad for us so build a routine wake up early go to bed early and get your eight hours of sleep it's okay some days to stay awake late at night two three days no problem but do not make it into a habit i continuously slept at 3 a.m. in the morning or 4 a.m. in the morning for like two, three months. And the way my body reacted so negatively, it is crazy. And ever since I started sleeping well, my skin changed, my hormones changed, my sleep quality is better, my periods are better. Sleep has a lot to do with us. Sleep has a lot to do with our health. Sleep has to do a lot with everything. So get your eight hours of sleep. Look presentable. That means get facials done, get your manicures done, get your pedicures done, get all of those things done. Get your hair done, get your hair trimmed if you have split ends, take care of your body, take care of your skin. If you are dealing with acne, go to a doctor, get it checked. If you have any other issues, go to the doctor and get it checked. If you feel like you have hormone issues, go to the doctor, get it checked and fix it. Don't just live with it. Now that we're done with body, let's move on to mindset. Build the habit of writing a to-do list. And now I know a lot of you guys think that, oh my goodness, I have it all up here. No, it doesn't work that way. Write a to-do list or download an app and write your to-do list. Type your to-do list so that you can mark off all of the things that you've already gotten done. Because no matter how good you are at remembering things, when you write things down, it is going to remind you to actually do it. It'll motivate you to do it and you will not forget to do those things. And you will most likely get it done just so that it is not stuck in your head. Another thing about mindset, work on your self-esteem and confidence. If you have any insecurities, get it over with or fix it. That's all you can do and build your self-esteem. Affirmations, love yourself. There's so many affirmations out there. Tell your affirmations in the morning to yourself. Trust me, it'll change the way your brain works. Also, set goals every single month and every three months and every six months. You need to have six month goals, three month goals and one month goals, okay? Always set goals because that'll help you become the person that you wanna be. Think positive, no matter what the situation is, always learn to think positive. If you're in a bad situation, learn to think of a positive outcome. If you're in a bad situation, learn to think positive. Like for me, for example, if I'm ever in a bad situation, for example, I failed a class, I would be like, you know what? 
That is motivation for me to spend less time with my friends and focus more on studying and getting my work done. Every now and then, watch motivational videos because that freaking helps. These motivational videos on YouTube are so freaking helpful, you have no idea. I watch these motivational videos every single morning. Some days, obviously, I skip because I'm in a rush to go somewhere. But these motivational videos, oh my goodness, they are amazing. Those words really get into my head and it gives me a boost to my day. It sets the momentum for the day because I'm all motivated, I'm inspired, and I feel like I can take on this world. So watch motivational videos on YouTube. And the last one about mindset is stop complaining about things in your life. If something ain't going the way you want it to go, either you fix it, don't complain it. If you're in a toxic relationship, get out of it. If you are feeling bad about your body, do something about it. If you feel bad about your skin, do something about it. Do not complain instead of complaining do something about it. Do not waste your time complaining about shit when you have full control over it. Now let's move on to mine. Read one book per month. If you're not a reader, try to read at least one book per month. Now if you have problems reading, listen to an audiobook if that helps. While you're walking, while you're in the bus, while you're cooking, read or listen to a audiobook because books are knowledge and there's so many good things in books that you are missing out on. There are things in books that you will never hear on the internet. Trust me, Books have changed my life completely. Stop using your phone the first hour of your day and the last hour of your day. Do not stay on your phone or watch TV or just limit screen time one hour before bed because if you don't do that, you will be reducing your sleep quality. And once you wake up, do not get on your phone and check your phone. Mm -mm, do not do that. Once you wake up, meditate, give yourself one hour just to yourself, embrace your life, love your life, say your affirmations, brush your teeth, get out of bed, set the momentum for the day. Journal daily. Trust me, this has helped me so much. Every single day, get a diary by the way, get a diary and every single day with the date, you write what has happened to you during that day. What happened? One good thing, one bad thing, and for the bad thing, you write, why did that happen? What could I do to possibly change it? This thing has helped me so much with situations that it is so freaking easy for me to handle situations now because I journal. Write your feelings. If you're going through a breakup, document that shit in your diary. Write today, I am upset. I saw him with another girl. How did that make me feel? That made me feel bad. Why? Because he replaced me so quickly. Why do you feel bad about that? Because I feel like I'm not valid. Why do you feel that? I don't know, because my parents probably made me feel that way. Write everything down, okay? Write everything down and read it and you will understand so many things. And also, spend at least one hour a day silent. Now, I live alone, so I'm basically 24 hours just silent in my house. But if you live around with people or in college, in a hostel somewhere, it can be really difficult to stay silent except when you're sleeping but trust me for your peace of mind try to get one hour of silence every single day also please stop spending time on the internet less internet more real life okay stop watching movies go out with your friends and make life into a movie stop binge eating at home instead go out with your friends go for dinner with your friends or meet a stranger online and go out with that person now obviously that sounds dangerous but trust me that is a really good way to make friends also my last one for mine is meditate meditation is the key for me personally i am so freaking confident with my life i manifest things easily i am more calm in situations because i meditate if meditation was never invented i would be a psychopath now let's talk about Soul. Meet up with your friends weekly or bi-weekly, okay? Go out with your friends, go out on a picnic date, go out on a dinner date, or just go for coffee, or go to their house with flowers or cake or tea, whatever it is. Meet your friends, real friends, or your family. Number two, have a self-care day once a week or three times a month, twice a month, just have a self-care day. Self-care days are so freaking important. Just It's just something about self-love. When you take care of yourself, you love yourself. So take care of yourself. What I basically do is I have one huge self-care day once a month where I get my manicure, pedicure, facial, hair done. And every once a week, I have another self mini self-care day where I do my teeth, where I exfoliate, where I scrub, where I do face masks, and basically stuff like that. Also, do not forget to build your dream wardrobe. If you don't like the style that you have right now, get rid of all of the clothes and slowly buy things that you actually enjoy wearing. Or if you have a difficult time styling things or just being fashionable, take inspo off of Pinterest and recreate those pictures. 
and post them on the internet. And also do not forget to romanticize your life because when you start romanticizing your life, life becomes more enjoyable. You love your life more when you start romanticizing every single thing. I used to be such a night person. I was not a morning person, but ever since I started romanticizing my life, I started romanticizing me making coffee in the morning. I started romanticizing my lemon water in the morning. Romanticize every little thing in your life. Romanticize working out. Romanticize, you know, doing your self-care. Just learn to romanticize your life. And the last one is visit places once a month. That means explore new places, try a new restaurant, try a new ride, go to a new place that you've never heard of, that you only saw on the internet, even if it's not famous. Just discover, explore new things every single time, at least once a month. And the last one is education. Stay focused and stay organized. Now stay focused when you have a specific goal in your head. Do not let boys or friends or anything else distract you and stay organized. Organize every single thing that you have to do, your tasks, your assignments, organize all of those things. Like for me, for example, when I'm in uni, when I have my exams and I know that my exams are coming up, I'll start studying three months before my exams and I'll be like, okay, so this is what I'm gonna study, European law, I'm gonna be studying this, this, this today and that's it. For an entire week, I won't study and then I'll study again. So if you can't do that, you can always have a 24 hour study day. One day of the week, you just study. You do not be on your phone. You take tiny little breaks to eat, to walk around, to play with your pets, but all you do for 24 hours is study. Learn to manage time and plan your day. Always plan your day in advance. It just makes your life way more easier. You will probably be getting all of your to-do list done way before the day ends. You will be prioritizing everything that's important and you'll probably go to bed early, relax and peacefully because you're done with your to-do list for the day. So always plan your day. Do everything according to the plan of the day. And last thing is learn new language. There are so many apps out there, for example, like Duolingo, where you can literally download and learn a new language. It is so exciting to learn new languages all the time. Do you know how many languages that I know? Like I learned so many languages, so learn a new language. It is so attractive when people know more than one language. So that's that. I basically told you guys how to glow up. This was basically an easy peasy trick. This was basically easy peasy advices that you can do. So start right now, get your life together, Transform your life by doing these tiny things and trust me, you will be unrecognizable. You will be the dream person that you want to be. So that is basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.